Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use workflows inside of high level to create a simple campaign for our clients that generates them an extra twenty, thirty thousand dollars on days they're having special events. It's a really simple, easy to use formula. So let's dive right in and I'll show you how to copy it. Here we are in the automation that makes my client roughly $30,000 each time we run this campaign for them. What I'm going to do is show you how using workflows you can create a simple campaign for your customers to promote events which turns into money in their pockets and keeps them happy with you. So here I am in a customer's account. As you can see I've run this campaign for them several times. And what I do now is I duplicate the campaign because it's really the same thing over and over, just changing some language or changing the manufacturer that they're having their event with. I'll show you first how I would create it from scratch. And then secondly, I'll show you how easy it is once I'm duplicating the campaign. So here's what the campaign looks like. This is the one that is active right now. My client, TSO Optical, is having a, a summer event promotion and it's co-sponsored with one of the eyeglass companies that they sell their glasses. Tail eyewear. The event is this Friday. So what I've done, I've, I've set an event start time. If we look at this, we've got the event start time and you would just choose the day and time that you want. So I've chosen this Friday at 10 o'clock and then we've got a text that goes out and then we wait a day and then we've got another text that goes out and then wait an hour before the event and then the final text. So if you were going to do it from scratch, here's how you would do it. Here in workflows, you're going to create a workflow. Start from scratch. We're going to name it. In this case, I'll just name it an event. So we'll say event promo campaign. And then I'm going to add an event start date. So we'll do event start date. Let's say that it's this Friday. So let's go down and choose specific date and time. And from the calendar picker, we're going to say the 11th. 11 a.m. and I'll do save action. So now I've got my event time, Friday 11 a.m. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send a text. So I'm going to say uh, SMS, send SMS, and I'm going to use custom values. So I'll say hi, uh, first name, right? Contact, first name. We are having an awesome event. Right. Now this is just abbreviated uh, just to show you how to quickly do this. Then I'm going to wait a day. So let's say we're going to send this out today and then we're going to wait a day. So I'm going to wait one um, day. Do this one day. Save action. And then um, you know what? We're going to do the same thing. Another text, another wait a day. But what I'll do is I'll just copy everything, all actions from there, and I'll add them. So it's added another text, another way today. So this one is gonna say, reminder, we're having an awesome event. Save, way today, and then we'll do another one. And also I'll copy this, copy action right here, and say, it's happening today. And I know I've just oversimplified that, but essentially this is how it looks. We have an event start time, then a message, then wait a certain period of time that you want to wait, message again, wait, message again. So you're going to take your customer's list of contacts and just add them to this workflow. Here's what this looks like in real time. You would also hit publish and then you would hit save, but I'm not going to publish or save this because this is to show you. Now we're going to go to the real one. So here's what I've done. This is where it gets even easier. As you can see, we've run this same promo for them for years. 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, 2025. That shows you how valuable this is because this customer has stayed with us this long. And the reason they stay with us this long is because we're delivering value to them that brings in money for their business that exceeds what we charge them for their monthly service fee with us. Here's the one that we have right now, the Teo Summer Show. And all we've done is we've taken this Dita one, which was the last one, and copied it. So I went right here and I hit Duplicate Workflow. Once I click Duplicate Workflow, then I'm going to name it what I want to name it. And I've already done that. 
So when I duplicated the Dita one, it showed everything that was from that last campaign. So I came in here to the event start date and I changed the date. I went into the SMS message and in that SMS message, we updated the SMS message reflective of what the current offer is. And so I've changed out that it's for uh, Teo eyewear and not Dita eyewear. And the offer has become buy one pair, get 200 off the second pair. This client is also doing some styling appointments. So we've got a link to a calendar so people can book a styling appointment. And then we've got the client's name, the address, and of course the reply stop to opt out. And then I've added a promo image as well for the campaign that we're running. And that's right here. Now, as you can see, we've already loaded contacts into this workflow. So they've already come through here. They've gotten their first message today, and now they're waiting a day. Tomorrow, they're going to get another message that's similar to the first one, but slightly changed. Right, so it says, hi, contact first name. So it's like, hi, Jill, friendly reminder, tomorrow get $200 off a, a second pair of complete frame and lenses with purchase at TSO Optical Summer Event with the Teo Eyewear. And then it's going to wait until an hour before the event. And so what we've done is we've sent a message out today, then we're going to skip a day, and then we're going to send another one out Thursday, and this is all automated. And then we're going to wait until Friday, an hour before the event starts, and the event start date is at 10 a.m. And at 9 a.m., this one's going to go out, and it's going to say, Hey, Jill, happening today, Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., TSO's summer event with Teo Eyewear, buy one pair, get 200 off the second pair. And so what this is going to do is it's going to drive awareness and drive traffic into the store on Friday. It's giving people awareness, right? So message went out today, message is going to go out Thursday, and then another one will go to Friday morning. Awareness that TSO is having this event, a special offer. And then reminders leading up to it. What this does is it drives traffic into the stores. It increases sales for the client, and it's all automated. You set up the campaign once, you load the contacts into that workflow, and then the system does the rest. And that's the beauty of using high level for things like this. It just works. The automations help you deliver value to your customers, making you the hero where they're happy to pay you month over month for your services. And every time we run this campaign for TSO Optical, they tell us that they get between twenty and thirty thousand dollars of increased revenue on the day of the campaign event. They also tell us that is the absolute best ROI that they have for marketing. So there you have it. Another way that you can use high level to generate revenue for your own business or for customers businesses that you resell high level to. Now, if you're new to high level and you'd like an extended 30 day free trial, you can get that using my affiliate link, which you can find in my free community that you can join called AI SaaS launch. There'll be a link down below for you to join that community. And when you use my affiliate link to get your 30 day free trial to high level and sign up for high level, then you're also going to be a part of my group where you get free weekly coaching and assets that I use in my business that you can use in your business to get you off to a great start. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.